the grey nurse shark, critically endangered. According to the New South Wales Fisheries Scientific Committee, this means that they face an extremely high risk of extinction in the immediate future. They have evolved over millions of years to be what we might call aquadynamically perfect. Their streamlining and numerous fins enable them to swim majestically at low speeds, often accompanied by vast shoals of bait fish. Despite their considerable size, over 150 kilograms and up to three meters in length, their enormous tail fin propels them effortlessly. Sometimes they move almost without moving, just a gentle pulsation of the upper lobe of the tail fin is enough to keep them gliding imperceptibly forward. In the past they were mistakenly blamed for shark attacks on humans. How bizarre that seems today as they serenely share the water with spellbound scuba divers. Often they are found in groups of five to ten and even more in some places. Swimming with a group of these large animals is an intensely exciting and unforgettable experience. Formerly plentiful in temperate and subtropical waters along the east coast, they were killed in great numbers by spear fishermen, commercial fishers and by nets set to keep sharks away from bathing beaches. Their numbers plummeted. The state of New South Wales declared them protected in 1984, the first shark species to be protected anywhere in the world. Nearly 30 years later, their future is still uncertain. They are a species that is slow to reproduce. There is dispute about how many grey nurse sharks there are but even the most optimistic estimates place them well below the 5,000 needed to sustain them into the future. Accidental hooking by people who are fishing is a major threat. Hooks can lead to deformity and blood poisoning. Sometimes hooks are ingested and do their damage internally. Many sharks have died as a result. Some aggregation sites have been declared off limits to bait fishing, but this only provides partial protection as these sites are small and there are many other areas used by the sharks which are not protected. Research is an important element of the recovery plan for the grey nurse sharks, but how to carry out such an expensive and difficult task? Divers from the Nature Coast Marine Group, a community group on the New South Wales South Coast dedicated to marine conservation, carry out regular surveys, supported by a grant from the Federal Government's Caring for Our Country program. The surveys focus on the Batemans Marine Park. Since November 2012, Nature Coast Marine Group divers have done over 30 surveys, searching for sharks both in recognised sites and in other locations where they might be found. Over 150 individual dives have been done. The divers have recorded numbers, sizes and the sex of the sharks they have seen. They have confirmed that the sharks are still using their traditional aggregation sites at the Tollgate Islands and Montague Island. The divers have also found the sharks in other areas, particularly at Dalmini, which could be a new aggregation site. Photography is an important part of the research. Each grey nurse shark 
as a distinctive pattern of spots on its sides. With the aid of specialised computer software, sharks can be identified by these patterns. So far, Nature Coast Marine Group divers have taken over 150 photographs of grey nurse sharks in the Batemans region. The photos are analysed by the dive team and are also submitted to major databases that record grey nurse sharks all along the coast. Some of the sharks identified have travelled to the Batemans Marine Park from up to 1,000 kilometres away. Others are new to the databases, raising hopes that there may be more sharks than previously thought. Hopefully research will continue, but more, much more, needs to be done. Protection from accidental hooking is crucial and depends on the declaration of more and larger protection zones. Education and public awareness are important to build the necessary public and political support. The grey nurse shark is an iconic species. It is Southern Australia's equivalent to the African lion or the Bengal tiger. Will the majestic grey nurse shark continue to play its important part in the ecology of Eastern Australian waters? Or will it go the way of another Australian apex predator, the Tasmanian tiger, and disappear forever? Only time will tell. The future is in our hands.